Okay, after you've done the second lathering, rinsing the hair again, shielding the face, bending the ear behind so that you're not getting any hair or any water in the ear. You make sure all traces of shampoo are removed. If you forget and leave shampoo in the hair, it will. Again, it can make it oily, okay? It can also dry or irritate the skin. And it's also going to affect the pH of the hair, too. Um, so make sure that you don't have any soaping, any sudsing, anything. You know, all traces are out. And then you want to squeeze the excess out of the hair, especially for long hair, because you don't want to dilute your conditioner. And then again, put your conditioner a little bit goes a long way. This stuff isn't the cheap stuff that you buy from the dollar store, so you don't need mounds of it. And you're going to work it through from the ends throughout the hair, basically to detangle it. If your client has oily scalp or hair, you don't need to have it real close to the scalp. If they have the dry scalp, you could massage it into the scalp too. If you're mainly doing it just to kind of detangle and protect the ends, just kind of work it through. And then when you're done, you're going to rinse. And you continue to rinse to get it all out. Then you're going to squeeze the excess out and then dry, towel dry the hair. Then when you're all finished, you're going to clean your shampoo bowl again. You want to first get rid of all the hair. Rinse it with soap and water first, um, and then spray it with the disinfectant, and then dry it. 